How important is the speed of the programming language when choosing which programming language to build your app in? As you might guess, it really depends on the type of app that you are building. So, for example, if you were designing a gaming engine that was going to be used on, uh, you know, whether it be consoles or would be used on home computers, then you probably want to write that in C, C++ because this code, C, C++ code, is the fastest code as uh, you're going to get. On the other hand, if you're building a web app uh, for, uh, you know, some exploratory project or for maybe from, for some small, medium-sized business, then the speed of the programming language is much less important. And uh, what's more important is the speed of development. Usually there is a trade-off, meaning the faster at runtime languages typically are uh, slower in development. So runtime is basically how fast the code actually runs when it's actually running. And development time is how long it takes to develop something with a particular language. Now, this isn't, this isn't always the case. So, for example, PHP, when it comes to writing web apps, it's much, much faster at runtime than a Python-based web app or a Ruby-based web app. PHP is super fast. Now, compare Ruby to Java or C Sharp, ASP.NET ASP C Sharp or Java, Java Web Development. I believe that Java and C Sharp are still a little bit faster. Now, I'm not too sure because I haven't looked into this in a long time. Back in the day when I was actively developing, yes, Java was definitely much faster than PHP at runtime. Uh, once it got once it got going initially with Java based web apps there's this first uh, time that when somebody hits the app uh, the Java virtual machine which is basically the Java app that runs Java code it, it first has to sort of process everything and get everything going quickly uh, to get everything compiled rather and then it runs much much faster than PHP now this is traditional PHP with the recent release of PHP 7, it's far, far, far uh, faster than PHP 5. So PHP 7, I've seen uh, some reports saying as much as 50% faster or takes 50% less resources, less CPU, less RAM to get the same job done. So that's pretty cool. So comparing PHP 7 versus Java today on the web, I couldn't say, I haven't looked at it. But prior to PHP 7, Java was definitely faster at runtime, and C Sharp ASP.NET was faster, I'm pretty sure, as well, although that's been a while. Here's the difference, though. With Java Web and C Sharp ASP.NET web development, it takes a lot more uh, work to get an app out versus doing the same app in PHP. It's just the nature of the languages. PHP was a language developed specifically for web app developments. And in fact, PHP is originally it stands for personal home page. In the old days, we used to call websites home pages. That's how people used to call them in the early 90s. Anyhow, so PHP uh, was designed specifically for web app development. So it's super easy to get up and running and building apps with PHP. At runtime, it's not quite as fast as Java or C Sharp ASP.NET, as far as I know. And uh, it's definitely, though, PHP 7 is definitely much faster than Ruby or Python in web app development. So coming back to the original question, how important is speed of the programming language when developing apps? It depends on the type of app. So if you're developing a gaming engine, you don't want to do it in Python, although you could, but you don't want to do it in Python. You probably don't want to do it in Java for the most part. Uh, you probably want to do a heavy duty gaming engine as an example in C, C++, because it's just a much faster language at runtime. The downside of programming with C and C++ is that it takes a lot more work to get stuff done. So you have to pick and choose your language depending on situations. So unless you're doing some advanced heavy duty gaming or you're building an engine for a core engine for AI or something, uh, you'd probably want to use a higher level languages. So C is down here. On top of that is like uh, Java, Ruby, uh, Python, PHP. In terms of a higher level, the language, the faster it is to develop in, but the slower it is at runtime. 
So C++ is a lower level language, I mean lower mean closer to the CPU. I've discussed this in other videos. So choosing your language depends on the type of work you want to do, depends on the, uh, that will affect whether or not you need to use this language or that language in terms of speed. You see, at any time, uh, Java will say is faster than PHP at doing web apps, but computers and servers are so fast these days, the speed difference that you would see in Java versus PHP is, is minuscule, if you even see it at all. It just gets so fast at some point. You don't really see much of a difference. The speed difference only comes in, uh, becomes noticeable rather, when you're doing some heavy duty processing. So sometimes developers will develop a big part of their app in a higher level language that's easier to develop in. Sometimes they develop the higher level parts in like PHP or Python or something. And then uh, for core components that they need some real major speed, they'll develop, they'll develop those little components in a much faster language. So we actually did that recently with my app where it was all PHP, but basically we had an old, an older ORM framework. ORM is short for Object Relational Mapping. It's a layer of code that talks to databases. Anyway, so we had an old ORM in our original system and the old ORM was old, kind of slow, and we had a new PHP-based ORM, which is far, far faster. But we didn't want to gut the whole old ORM out of the old system, which has been a huge job. So what we did is we implemented a new app using a new ORM, and then we fed the results of, uh, of that ORM. Basically, we had the new app query the database, and we send the results back to the old app. We send the results back in JSON objects, bypassing the old slow ORM, being able to use, allowing us to use the brand new fast tool, the fast layer of code. And this way we're able to take advantage of a brand new fast layer of code, or a framework of code rather, and without having to gut our whole application. So there's an example where we use not two, la not two languages, but two different frameworks to speed up the original app. So you can do that across languages as well. So there's no reason that you couldn't take your Python-based app and use it to call libraries that you've written in C or C++. In fact, Python makes that quite easy. So that's very common. You would do that type of thing. Again, it's all very project specific, whether or not you need to do that, when you need to do that. And so for most people out there, if you're writing uh, general purpose apps and so forth, you could probably, if you're doing web apps, most 99% of you could do your web apps in, in uh, PHP, Python, or Ruby, whatever you want. And it's only on rare occasion now, generally speaking, you have to be concerned about the speed of the code of the language that you're using when developing your apps because computers are just so fast these days. So I hope that answers the question, meandered a little bit. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, if I do have an answer, if I know and what I know, I'll, I'll try to answer in one of these vlogs. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.